astrophotography can be as exciting as it is intimidating and expensive. When I started to look for my first tracking mount, I wanted to make sure that I picked something up that was fairly easy to use and also didn't cost thousands of dollars for my first purchase. After months of research, I kept coming back to one product, the Ioptron Skyguider Pro. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of this tracking mount, along with a basic step-by-step -step guide to help you go out and get it set up to take some incredible images of the nighttime sky. Let's get started by taking a look at what you get right out of the box. The Skyguider Pro comes with a pre-installed polar scope, alt azimuth base, mounting bracket, counterweight, and padded case. The build quality is impressive, particularly for this price range. It has an all metal mechanical structure with ample protection for the polar scope and supports up to 11 pounds of equipment. The back reveals an HBX port for an optional hand controller, the micro USB charging port, a built-in shutter trigger, and an ST4 port for auto guiding. The top reveals the power button and indicator light, along with the controls you'll be using to let the Skyguider Pro know what types of objects you're attempting to track. These speeds include solar, lunar, half speed, and full speed. There is also the ability to switch it to the southern hemisphere and a light indicator for the brightness of your polar scope during alignment. Now let's go outside and take a look at how to set up the Skyguider Pro for a night of imaging. I'm outside about an hour after sunset for what looks to be a beautiful night, and the first thing we're going to need to do is connect the Skyguider Pro to a tripod. I went ahead and bought the inch and a quarter tripod offered by Ioptron, but most similar size options for astronomy or photography should work just fine. After that, make sure the base is set to your latitude. Now we can move on to the most important part of our setup, polar alignment. The first thing you need to do is find the North Star Polaris. It will be the brightest star in the Ursa Minor constellation, otherwise known as the Little Dipper. If you aren't familiar with the nighttime sky, I would suggest getting an app like Sky Safari to help you find it. Polaris is near a fixed point of the sky that everything else rotates around. So properly aligning to Polaris will allow you to match the movement of the sky to capture long exposure images of deep sky objects. Once you have found Polaris, point the Skyguider Pro towards it. Before you align the polar scope, make sure the mount is level by making slight adjustments to the tripod and checking the bubble level. Now let's get the polar scope ready to go by removing the caps and turning on the Skyguider Pro. Push the main button twice until it moves over to the light bulb icon. This will allow you to adjust the brightness of the reticle up or down. As you're looking up into the polar scope, make sure the reticle is aligned with 12 o'clock facing straight up. Hopefully, you will see Polaris in the field of view. If not, you will need to slightly adjust the positioning of your tripod until Polaris shows up. Just make sure to always recheck that the mount is level. To properly align the Skyguider Pro, I'm going to pull up an app called Polar Scope Align Pro. This will tell me exactly where Polaris should be on the reticle at this specific time. To move Polaris to that point, I'm going to make fine-tuned adjustments to the tracking mount using the front and back knobs. This is a weak point of the Skyguider Pro. The knobs flex when you tighten them, which creates a situation where Polaris can drift slightly as you are locking down the top knobs and side bar. I've found that the best solution for this is to slowly adjust and tighten the tracking mount in small increments until everything is perfectly aligned. Now that the Skyguider Pro is set up and properly aligned, Let's talk about our options for connecting different types of imaging equipment to it. 
If your equipment is under three pounds, you simply need to buy a ball head mount, connect it to the tracking mount, and connect that to your camera. If your equipment is over three pounds, you will need to use the counterweight system. You can set this up by attaching the mounting bracket to the tracking mount, followed by connecting the counterweight. Remove the declination mounting bracket and connect that to your camera or telescope. You may also want to consider using a ball head mount attached to the bracket as well for easier maneuvering of your imaging equipment. To not put any strain on the motor, make sure that you have proper balance between the imaging equipment and the counterweight by adjusting it until the lightest touch can smoothly move the whole assembly in any direction. You may also want to test out different arrangements for your mounting bracket. I found that sometimes it works better having the counterweight off the short end and sometimes better off of the longer end. It just depends on the equipment that I'm using that night. Once you've found your object and have everything framed in your imaging equipment, tighten down the black disc on the front to lock everything into place, turn on the Skyguider Pro, and do some test shots to make sure your focus and settings are correct for whatever you're imaging that night. If everything has gone well, you should have pinpoint stars. If you see star trails, double check that everything is aligned and balanced correctly. On most nights of imaging, I've been able to consistently get at least two minutes of exposure time with my DSLR using focal lengths ranging from 50 to 250 millimeters with virtually no star trails in most frames. The Skyguider Pro is a wonderful entry-level tracking mount for those new to astrophotography or experienced users looking for an ultra-portable grab-and-go option. Its metal structure and tracking motor are impressive for this price point, but its less than sturdy locking mechanisms for polar alignment could use refinement in future updates. Simply put, the Skyguider Pro will provide you with wonderful opportunities to image incredible deep sky objects with a wide range of equipment. If you're looking to get into astrophotography, or you already own your own tracking mount and are taking incredible images of the nighttime sky, please like this video and let me know about your questions and experiences in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your continued support, and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.